guys, welcome back to the channel. With the release of Monster Hunter Rise on PC just around the corner, many of you will play Rise for the first time. If you didn't know already, one of the many new additions in Monster Hunter Rise are the Switch Skills. Switch Skills are swappable moves for each weapon, allowing different playstyles and approaches to combat. Each weapon type has a total of 6 Switch Skills, divided in 3 sets of 2 moves. That means you can only switch between 2 moves of each set. It's not possible to change one move of one set with another one from a different set. Every weapon already has one switch skill of each set by default. The other switch skills must be unlocked by completing different tasks. After you complete the requirement, talk to Master Utsushi. He will have a yellow speech bubble above his head. There are three tiers to unlock all the switch skills. First, you have to unlock 3-star village quests and 2-star hub quests. This is done by simply progressing through the story. Second, you have to craft 8 variants of the weapon class you have chosen. And third, you have to clear a special quest in the hub specially for your weapon type. Again, those quests are unlocked by progressing in the story. We made this series to help players by showing what each switch skill does and how to use them. In this video, we're going to talk about Whoa! Power Shot is a more powerful normal shot that raises your charge level. You can perform up to two power shots back to back. As the replacement for Power Shot, Absolute Power Shot functions like a Power Shot with a bonus of dealing KO damage when hitting the monster's head. This action costs more stamina. Charging Sidestep is an evade that charges your shot level by 1 every time you perform it till your charge level is maxed out. Then, you will stay on the max charge level. This dodge covers the ground and you can move in the cardinal directions. If you time it well, you can iframe attacks without taking damage. The switch skill for charging sidestep. Dodge Bolt uses less stamina to execute, but doesn't raise your charge level and covers less ground. Instead, if you dodge an attack at the right moment, you instantly go up to charge level 3 and deal a bit damage while evading. Evading without dodging an attack keeps your charge level. With the use of one warbug, you jump in a direction of your choice. This covers a lot of ground and upon landing, stamina recovers quicker for a moment. On top of that, if this is timed correctly, you can negate incoming attacks.
Aerial Aim replaces Focus Shot with an Airborne Attack. With one Warbug, you catapult yourself upwards. While mid-air, you can fire up to three shots which can be freely aimed. Each shot increases your charge level. Also, you may use a Diving Melee Attack which deals more damage. That's it for the bow. If you want to learn about the other weapons, make sure to check them out in this channel.